And can I tell you, Zul, we've got to feed the world. There's not enough food to feed the world. Mm. We've got enough farmers, Mm. if we put capital on there and invest in them, to at least do a good job at it. And Look, keep them all, and they're not going to run out of work. We're not going to yeah. overpopulate the beef industry or the dairy mm-hmm. industry or the goat industry or anything. Because <laughs> for those of you who don't know, China's only just come in the market. They aren't the market like the TV's saying. Mm. You know, yeah. When you talk about a billion people that they can count, and by the time they've got halfway through it, they've just doubled again. But it's America's taken, I think Landline said the other week, 30 something percent of our export beef. Everyone's screaming about Asia. I'm saying invest in our farmers and let them help feed the world. Why should it be just the big conglomerations that make the money? And all they want to do is yeah. close the farms down and take them over. Put one manager on there to live there, take the family, take the kids out of school, close down the local shop, close down the... Well, you know the rest of the I story. know the rest of it. Now, I want to talk more about that. If you're not as fired up as what I am, I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm reeling, in here, reeling in here because... I'm kind of like getting angry but yet excited because I can see some future in here. We need to take a very short break and we're going to have a word from Peter actually during that break uh, to talk more about how you can get involved. So stick around. We'll be back very shortly. Coming up on The Point TV. That's all I'm going to say in the business side. We need private enterprise and the people of Australia to get behind their farmers and that's what I'm here for.